guys, Katie here. Welcome to day six of Vlogmas. I didn't upload a Vlogmas episode yesterday because I just didn't end up having time to film anything and didn't really have anything in mind that I wanted to film. Now, today is Saturday, December 9th, and I am going to go run some errands with my boyfriend Levi. I don't really know what we're doing today, but I decided for day six of Vlogmas it would be fun to do a vlog and I'm filming this on my iPhone 7 Plus instead of my vlog camera today because my vlog camera is out of battery so hopefully the quality is to your standards um, and I'm hoping to get this video up by the end of tonight but if not then it will go up tomorrow on Sunday we'll see anyways I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and I decided I would do a little bit of like a get ready with me um, kind of I don't know montage here at the beginning uh, I already showered. I'm gonna let my hair kind of be natural today, and then um, I gotta get my makeup on. So let's do it. All right, so I'm makeup free, and I'm in my boyfriend's living room and his apartment, sitting in front of the window. I should do my makeup in front of this window every morning, but I don't. Instead, I usually do it on the floor of his bedroom, in front of his mirror, on the back of his door, and the lighting's horrible. Um, but. Yeah, for the sake of this video though, I'm actually going to be doing it with good lighting. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off with just doing my eyebrows real fast here. Acne update, um, I think my skin is doing a little bit better than it has been the past few months. And I think it's because my skin's like really starting to adjust to using the African black soap. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows. I like to use this e.l.f. clear mascara stuff. I don't actually know if this is like eyebrow gel or clear mascara, but whatever it is, it sets my eyebrows so well. I'm going to move on to doing my eyeshadow now. I just like to um, apply a concealer all over my lids. This is just the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer, and I just kind of cancel out any of the, I don't know, veininess of my lids. Next up, I just used this kind of taupey gray color um, eyeshadow from this Studio Makeup On The Go palette in Cool Down. And this is my everyday eyeshadow look. I just blend this all over my lid. The eyeshadow look itself is pretty messy, but I clean up the edges with concealer when I do my foundation. So I'm going to move on now, though, to doing my mascara routine, which is just Maybelline's um, Lash Sensational Curve 2 Mascara. I've been using this Essence like Cosmetics um, facial sponge and I like it. I got it off Amazon on Cyber Monday and it gets so big when you put water in it. Like it's it's pretty good quality sponge. I haven't really found anything wrong with it yet. It works well. I've just been using Revlon Color Stay. This is in medium beige. It's a little too light for me, but um, I think I'm going to stop going to the tanny beds now. So hopefully it'll adjust to my skin tone in the next few weeks. Today I'm just going to put it on and I'll just bronze my face up if it is too light. So now I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my colors in light sand, and I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face using my L'Oreal Translucent Powder. I'm going to contour with my NYC Sunny Face Bronzer. I'm going to highlight my face using my Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I'm going to finish off the look with this Allegory Story Lip Gloss in Plato's Cave. Okay, so makeup's done. Let's head out. So I've been driving, so I haven't really been able to vlog much, but um, Levi and I just went to the outlet mall that I kind of live close to, and I got a coat. It's back there. So I'm wearing a coat that's not extremely warm. I've had this one for a few years. It's from Forever 21, and I just realized I don't really have like a good coat. So on Black Friday, I got one from a store here at the outlet mall, and it was more like a down feather like jacket. So now I have a nice down kind of jacket, and then I bought um, a thicker like puffer coat with a fur lined collar, and um, it was not too expensive. It was on sale for 60 and it was originally $225. It's a guest coat. So it's back there. I'm gonna put it on later. It's really cold out today. I'm so excited I finally invested in a good quality coat. Now we're gonna go either to lunch or to Target and I'm gonna try to buy gifts for everyone in my family today and get all my gift shopping done for the holidays. Levi, what are your shopping goals? Yes. And that's the answer I get from Levi most of the time I ask him any questions at all. Just yes. Just say it's more Lion's Choice. <laughs> we ate this a week ago today and we're eating yes. it again. And I ate all of her food too. No, she, you didn't, didn't. she didn't finish. No, no, no. I finished your fries and a few bites of your soup. Now we're gonna go to Target. Oh, 
Target time. Well, I got two things from Target. I found um, the thing I needed to get for my sister here. Christy watches these vlogs, so she's probably gonna be really excited. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna put the clip in of what I got her because that'll ruin the surprise, but got something She little. got her a dog. They're, they're selling dogs there. They were on clearance. So. Oh, yep, Christy, you get a dog. Congratulations. She would love that. Let's go to my car. It's this way. One thing I bought at Five Below for myself, because I went to Five Below and got some gifts for people, but I got this for myself, and I'm hoping I can put it on my air vent and be able to like mount my phone, but I'm realizing my air vents are kind of low. Oh, wow. You made that look really easy. Now what? Now I put it on the air vent? And I think um, it you turn this thing and it tightens. Your vents are like loose. Oh, okay, that could be an issue. I don't think this one is. As loose? Okay. Yeah, this one's just, this vent over here is just loose. Okay, so let's put it on this one. It'll be closer to me anyway. Cut! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's so cheap. Well, it broke! You should take that back. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh. Dead body? You see dead body anywhere? I don't see nothing. East St. Louis. That was an East St. Louis cop. What? Yeah. What? What? What happened? This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Like I don't know what's going on right now, but I think there were. Should I get over to? You? Whatever. You're good. Okay, so I got back from running errands with Levi a little while ago, and I wanted to show you guys more up close the coat that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and show y'all what it looks like. So I have been wanting a nice, like, puffer, kind of really warm down feather coat for a while now. And let me move Levi's calculator out of the way. And I, I don't know, I've never really owned like a super nice coat. I've had a North Face down feather coat a long time ago, but like I grew out of that. So. I did buy a down feather jacket over Thanksgiving break, like on Black Friday, but like I said, that one just wasn't keeping me warm enough, so I wanted like a nice one. So I got this one from Wilson's Leather, and it's from Guess, or it's by Guess. It was originally $225. Has this fur-lined hood that thankfully can be removed via a zipper, I think, because I'm not really into the whole like faux fur look, but I actually like, I don't know, it does give... The jacket a little bit more of a stylish stylish touch uh, so it's a black coat it doesn't come down too long I'll put it on and show you guys all right so this is what it looks like on I went with a small because the extra small kind of was like not long enough and I just wanted it to be extra warm um, I love it it's super soft I'm not actually sure if it's real down feather I, I, I think it is though and the pockets the only thing I'm worried about is like I know it's a good quality because the coat itself is like just made well but the little zipper thingies on the pockets are super tiny and I'm afraid they're gonna come off really easily I don't know if you guys can see that but they're super tiny so but the uh, pockets I really like them because they're sort of fleece lined and really warm and there is like one of those little pockets on the inside there so I'm glad I finally found a good winter coat I was gonna ask for one for Christmas but I sort of wanted to shop around for myself so yeah, if you guys have any requests for things you'd like to see me do in the next month while I'm filming as consistently as I possibly can, leave those requests down below. Make sure you're leaving comments. Like if you're watching this right now, and if you have time, please leave me a comment to let me know that you're watching um, and that you enjoy it. I don't know if you don't, that's fine. But like, I don't know, I just need to hear from you guys. It's been such a long time since I've really consistently uploaded and I love reading your guys' comments and stuff. So. Shout out to everyone who does leave a comment. Shout out to Stephanie. She always leaves a comment on my videos. And um, Stephanie K. And so I notice you guys when you comment. I really love your comments. But yeah, I'm going to stop babbling now. And um, probably just take this coat off. Because I'm going to get too hot if I stay in it. And I will vlog a little bit more later.